Yo, what is going on guys? It is not in reality and in today's video I am making a guide on everything you need to know before you actually jump into a node war or what like buffs you need to know before jumping into a node war. So let's start off with how do we know what we need and wh where we're at right now. So if you click on the node war information in the top right of your map, you'll see all of the nodes that are on the, uh, the whole world basically. And nodes are split into tiers. We have tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, and tier five, which is unkept. Uh, so I'm mainly going to be making this guide for tier three and tier four because those are the main populated tiers. But tier one, tier two are also really populated with newer players that are trying to get into node wars. So I will be touching on certain things uh, as we go, but that's not going to be my main focus. My main focus is going to be tier three and tier four. So first, how do we look at like what what we need? So if you hover over a node, let's say this one right here, we can see this is a tier three node. And we can see it's max participants 50, uh, max war heroes 3. That's not really that important. But the main thing we need to know is the stat limits to the right. So the stat limits basically show you what AP you need and how what you're at, what evasion you need, and what you're at, stuff like that. So you can kind of match it up. You basically want everything to be green. So if we look at it here, it says AP limit 485. Then it says my AP 660. So I'm basically way over the max the AP cap, which means I will never benefit from AP uh, in this area at all except for one specific thing, which I will get to later. I see my evasion is a bit low, so we're going to have to work on that. But yeah, basically, you can go through and you can see which stuff you need, and you can base it off of that. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is our gear. Now, for our gear, there's nothing really too special you need to run for the most part. Most people just run their main gear with a Nuver. Now, this is where the AP thing comes into account. Now, obviously, you don't need more AP because it is capped. But one thing the AP isn't capped on is actually structures. When you're killing a, a base or you're killing the structures around the base, they actually take full AP damage. So you want to be running the highest AP possible. But if you don't want to do that, because I know some people don't like uh, a running full AP and they rather run damage to kill players, you can run sort of like what we call a meme accessory. So there's three meme accessories, two technically, but there's three total. Uh, we have the Chimera earrings, which give you down attack damage uh, 10%, so running two of them will give you 20%, and then we have the Kaya Necklace, which gives you back attack damage plus 10%. You can run all of these, but take note that it will drop your AP a lot, along with your accuracy uh, and whatnot. So, like, if your accuracy is a bit low, maybe you can run a Bronte's Bolt with a Chimera. You can kind of work around with it, see what you like. Personally, I just run my full gear for burning bases, because uh, at the end of the day, you want to burn the base to win the node. Uh, so after, or let me let me show you real quick, where we actually get these accessories. So if you go down here to Calfion and we go over to Trent, there's a guy named Mandolf. Um, he's just like a, like a regular merchant in this area. It's one of these, I don't even remember which one, but uh, you can buy the accessories, all three of them for like a couple thousand silver. It's insanely cheap. Uh, and you can, you know, use them in war, try them out. That's uh, up to you. So next up, in the actual wearable stuff, we're going to be talking about artifacts and crystals. Now, for the artifacts, there's three main artifact sets that I recommend running. So the first one is the max HP artifact. I'd recommend running this one if you're more of a tanky class, like a Zerker or a Valk or something like that. This will just give you extra survivability because max HP is not capped in tier three and tier four. It's only capped in tier one and tier two. And then once we get into actual tier four, we might want to swap over to untouchable. This gives you HP, but it also gives you 2% spec evasion, which 2% seems like it's really low, but it actually stacks up quite a bit. If you keep running everything, you can get up to like 40 something uh, spec evasion total and spec evasion makes you even more tanky than HP. If you are a DPS player, you are going to be probably running something along the lines of Crocodile Tooth uh, with two max HP artifacts and uh, Crocodile Tooth is two predation, a strike and a ground. This will give you down attack damage and crit hit damage. I like running this on Ranger, and I also do sometimes run it on Zerker if I want to do a bit more damage. It is a really nice set to run uh, if you're getting really into Node War. Now, if you're in Tier 1, Tier 2, probably just run full stamina. I like this set right here because everything else is basically capped. You just want more stamina. It's pretty simple. Uh, next up, we have Crystals. Now, if you're a more tanky class, you're going to be running an HP stack Crystal build. Um, my crystals are a bit different because I do uh, kind of cater to how I play. I'm kind of like a more of a bruiser type build when I play Zerker than a HP uh, damage soak. But uh, to do full HP, you're basically just going to take off the Alukas and potentially take off the Corrupteds. That's up to you. And just put on more HP crystals as you see fit to get as much HP as possible. 
if you're going for more of a dps build this is what i use on my ranger i got it from a really good ranger player uh, it's gonna be a, something around the lines of this it, you can change it up based off of obviously what class you're playing what stuff you might need but i think this is a good starting line for a ranger crystal build and it does really well in war so now that we have the crystals and the artifacts out of the way uh, we're going to be talking about what consumables we actually need so for consumables we're going to be looking in the auto use area because it makes it a lot easier so if you have a fairy i'd recommend highly highly recommend you get a fairy to pop all the buffs because if not you're going to be sitting there forever popping all of these elixirs uh, but let's talk about this real quick so for food buff you're going to be using a exquisite cron meal this is the best one to use for pvp gives you a bunch of buffs right there that you can see uh, so next up droughts we're not going to be using any droughts if you're a newer player you're doing tier ones tier twos or you're just like not that uh, rich of a player you can use giant droughts that is the best alternative uh if you don't use elixirs but if you are using elixirs uh, we're going to be using these elixirs right here so first up we have the carnage for the down attack damage second up we have a bag attack damage for 15 percent uh, we have fury for ap this one's honestly useless unless you're doing uncapped or you're not hitting the caps but i still wanted to show it we have the accuracy also only useful if you're not hitting the caps make sure you're a little bit over the caps if, if the cap for accuracy is 800 and you're at 810 you still might want to run concentrations just in case you get hit by a debuff uh, you'll still stay over the cap we have the death elixir which gives you nullifying damage we have the destruction which gives you special attack we have hp recovery really nice hp recovery is insane we have draining which gives you uh, hp recovery on crit hit we have uh, crit hit press plus three because we're not using giants we need uh those stats to be higher uh, we have recovery on hit uh we have damage reduction from steel defense now this one's also one of the ones that you really don't need to run uh but you can run it if you're kind of near the caps and you're not sure if you're going to be over it or not we have crit hit damage from the detection really nice uh and we have perforation which is another nullifying damage uh and then we have max hp only useful in tier three and tier four and then we have swiftness which will give you the plus three move speed uh so all of these will be filled to the max while you're in war now the last thing we're going to be running are perfumes so the base perfume that i recommend everyone at least run like even if you're a new player and you're you don't have a lot of silver run spirit perfumes because they're really cheap they give you plus 300 hp and crit hit rate plus five if you are running these you don't have to run the uh shocks uh because you're already getting the plus three but you'll have to, you'll have to sort that out when you're actually doing your elixirs uh, but this is the base one i'd recommend running obviously only for tier three and tier four because it, it does give you hp uh, there are a few other perfumes that you can actually run if you go over to this guild man military supply manager in heidel at like the bank area we can actually buy perfumes from them at the bottom for metals you get the metals during war so what i like to do because i don't like spending a ton of money on these because these are really expensive like this is 28 mil and you're probably going to burn through about like 40 of them every war or 30 of them every war if the war lasts a while so you're going to be spending you know like 600 mil uh in elixir or in uh perfumes i don't know why they call them elixirs in perfumes every war if you buy these off the market if you can even buy them off the market because a lot of times they're sold out so what i like doing is i like saving up my metals throughout the week and then the next week i'll use like maybe uh two wars of perfumes uh and then i'll go back to using the spirit perfumes because they're really cheap but let's go through these real quick so we have perfume of courage this is only used in uncapped war as it gives an ap buff that is really high it does give hp but the spirit perfume gives more hp we have elixir of deep sea this is the bread and butter for like dps players it gives huge back attack down attack and air attack damage along with some hp and stamina which is really nice then we have calx which is only used for uncapped as a tank player if you're like a zerker or something you're going to be running these uh to sustain more damage and then last but not least we have the perfume of charm this is only used in tier four because in tier four special attack evasion rate is uncapped and this is what i was talking about earlier where you kind of stack all of the evasion rate this right here gives you plus 10 and then you have the untouchable which gives you plus two and then you have the two crystals which give you another 20 so right there you're at like 32 percent and then one other thing is you get a special attack evasion rate from having a kudum heart or a garmouth heart on your weapon you get a plus seven percent for a kudum heart and a plus ten percent for a garmouth heart so right there that's like 42 percent special attack evasion rate which is really nice how I like doing it, uh, let me let me quickly go over this because a lot of people are confused about this. Uh, when I talk about people, or when I talk to people about using a special evasion raid, they're like, hey, I'm like a DPS player, should I be using it? This is how this works. If you have a Garmoth Heart and you already are at 30% special attack evasion with the two crystals, 
uh, these ones right here, and the Garmoth Heart, you're at 30%. Now it is worth running Untouchable for the extra 2%. And then it is worth running charms because now this will give you 42%. 42% is really high and it will give you a lot of sustain as a DPS. So you'll be able to do more damage over time. But if you do not have the Garmoth Heart or a Qudum Heart and you don't have the extra 7% or 10%, now you're only getting like you're only getting like 32%, 30% special attack evasion rate, which I personally don't think is worth as a DPS player. I would recommend then running uh, something like Crocodile Tooth, like I said earlier, because you'll get more usefulness out of that because the tankiness from the special attack evasion rate won't be high enough to actually matter, in my opinion. So now that we have all of the consumables out of the way, uh, let's go over what buffs you're actually going to be using. So let's run around the town real quick. Now I'm in Heidel. This is where I do all of my buffing. Uh, if you're in another spot, you're kind of going to have to find these NPCs on your own, uh, because this is just where I mainly use my buffs from. So I usually start right around here, and I run up to the church. Now we're going to be grabbing two buffs from the church uh, that are pretty useful for war. At least one of them is useful. The other one's just for hitting caps. So we're going to be grabbing the attack one and the protection one. So the attack one will give you plus eight AP and plus eight accuracy. Only really good for hitting caps. If you already hit, are like way over the caps, you definitely don't need it. But we have also the uh, protection one, which is the one that we're going to be mainly focusing on because it gives us the plus 150 HP, which is really nice. Uh, for every class, you know, it, even if you're a DPS class that's really squishy, that plus 150 HP could save you at the end of the day or let you get off a bit more damage before you die uh, to secure a kill. Now, next up, I run over here because right here is uh, not in the safe zone, so we're able to actually place a tent. Then we grab ourselves the Villa Body Enhancement for basically the same thing. We get the plus 200 HP, but we also get plus 10 resistance and plus 5 ignore all resistance, and then along with the AP and DP, uh, which is good for hitting caps. So we grab that. And then I like to run back into town and we're going to go to our player owned house to grab a house buff. So this is my house right here. We're going to be going in here and the house buff we are going to be mainly looking at is the breath imbued stuff, the bear head that you can buy from the market. It's like 300 mil and this will give you plus 100 HP for, uh, I think it is three hours. Yes, three hours. Uh, but if you don't need HP or you're like, you know, I'm not hitting the caps and other stuff. You could run an AP one, although I wouldn't recommend it because they are really expensive and normally sold out. Or you can run an accuracy one, which is the breath and beads stuffed in boar head. Uh, if you're not reaching the accuracy caps, because I know it is a bit hard to reach the accuracy caps, especially if you're using the meme accessories. But uh, other than that, we have one more buff that we're going to grab. Now, this last buff, you're only going to be grabbing like two minutes before you actually go to uh, your base. Or like basically as soon as you're about to go to your base, you want to grab this buff. It's up here near the skill instructor. It is the Carolyn buff. So you talk to Carolyn up here. Carolyn's kindness. You grab that and you will get a 30 minute buff that gives you crit hit damage 10% for 30 minutes. So for the first 30 minutes of war, you're going to be doing a lot more damage and getting a lot more kills, which is really nice. And sometimes during a war, if there's like a stagnation period, uh, the shot caller will tell you to go back and get the buff in uh, like plat by plat uh, to do more damage later on in the war. But yeah, I think that's basically it for everything we need to know about wars. There are a few other things that are mainly class dependent, so I'm not really going to touch on them. Uh, but we do have like skill add ons and all that. This stuff is very class dependent. All I'm going to say about it is that don't use flat dp don't use flat ap don't use human damage make sure you're using down attack crit hit damage bleeds crit hit rate uh and attack speed and then the evasions just don't run any flat stuff you'll you'll <laughs> it won't benefit you at all but yeah i hope the video did help you guys uh know what you need for war and if it did make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace